Today I'm making my favorite homemade candy, Buckeyes. They have a creamy peanut butter center and are encased in dark chocolate. They're delicious. I'm gonna give you tips on how to make them easily. Let's go ahead and make them. It's easiest if you use a power mixer for this recipe. If you have a stand mixer, pull that out, use it. I'm using a hand mixer today just so that you can see easily how I'm making the Buckeyes. First, I'll add half of a cup of butter. This is room temperature butter and it is salted. You can use unsalted if you'd like. We are gonna add a little bit of salt to this recipe anyway, but either unsalted or salted will work. Then I'll add one and a half cups of creamy peanut butter. one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then half of a teaspoon of salt. Use the mixer and mix that together. If the butter is soft, then it really won't take long at all to just get that cream together. Then I'll add three cups of powdered sugar. Be careful you don't pack the powdered sugar into the measuring cup when you're measuring. Just kind of spoon it in and level it off so that your Buckeye dough isn't too dry. So after it's mixed, just test it and make sure that you can roll a small ball. We make about one inch balls. If for some reason the dough is too wet, you can always add a little bit more powdered sugar. If for some reason it's too dry, I'd put a little bit more peanut butter in there just to get it the perfect consistency so that you can make a nice smooth ball. Then you'll simply just roll the rest of the Buckeye dough into balls and place them on a baking sheet. I have a piece of parchment paper under mine just so that they don't stick to the pan. This recipe makes about four dozen Buckeyes. Of course, that's gonna depend on how big you roll the peanut butter balls. Again, ours are about one inch balls. We tend to make them a little bit bigger than some people sometimes. So then after you've rolled them all, you're going to pop them into the freezer, let them rest in the freezer for just like 20 minutes, just to get a little bit hard so that you can easily dip them in chocolate. While the peanut butter balls are in the freezer firming up, you can go ahead and get ready for the next stage of making Buckeyes, which is dipping them in chocolate. So I have a pan here covered with parchment paper again. That's where we'll be where we place the Buckeyes after they're dipped. Um, I have a fork and I have this Wilton tool for dipping that's super easy just to stick it in the peanut butter ball and dip. But you can also use a fork or you can um, even use a toothpick. So just something that will help you dip those peanut butter balls into the chocolate. And the last thing is the chocolate. So we use and highly recommend this Ghirardelli Dark Melting Chocolate Wafers. This is not sponsored, I just love them. I use them all the time, buy a ton of them. They melt smoothly, they melt easily in the microwave just to make a perfect texture for dipping and drizzling and just about anything chocolate that you would like. So you can find these in the baking aisle. They come in milk chocolate and dark chocolate. We prefer dark chocolate, but you can use a mix of both for a semi-sweet or use milk chocolate if that's what you'd like as well. So I start with one bag of chocolates, but I always buy two when I'm making Buckeyes just to make sure that I don't run out. So melt those in the microwave slowly, about 30 second increment, increments, stir in between each interval, and just mix until it is smooth and shiny chocolate, and then it is ready to dip. So to dip, just take your tool or your fork or your toothpick, poke it into the peanut butter ball, and then just dip, covering the ball about three-fourths of a way. And then I slightly dab it on the side, just let it drip slightly. Don't hold it there for too long or it will fall off. And then place it over on the parchment paper. Press down a little bit and pull up and you should leave it there to um, just rest and let that chocolate set. It will probably set quickly because the peanut butter balls are cold, which is perfect. So then you just keep dipping. After you've dipped all of the Buckeyes, you might want to get rid of the little poke hole in the top of the ball. And to do that, just make sure your hands are clean and just cover it over with your finger. And then that'll give it a smooth top so that it looks just like a Buckeye. 
And that's how you make Buckeyes. Store these in the fridge to keep them the freshest. I hope you love this recipe. Head over to tasteoflizzytea.com to print this off and save it the next time you are craving chocolate and peanut butter. Thanks for watching today. Check back soon for a new video.